Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. So we're gonna be doing a weekly reading. It's gonna be brief and sort of like a mini reading just because of lack of time, but I did wanna fit this in um, on in the beginning of the week. So I did a creative people reading yesterday or actually like technically today, but you can check that out if you haven't watched it, Any a special reading for uh, creative people. So here are the four groups. I'm gonna pull one card later on from the Oracle deck. This is the Goddess Dream Oracle. Before I show you the options here, I just wanted to briefly mention that I just put out the class. I just opened up the registration for my tarot course. So I, I taught tarot, I think it was last year, and it went really great. Um, so it's a beginner level tarot course. It's six weeks. And um, all of the information is below if you guys are interested, but um, I just wanted to let you know. And if you know anyone else who wants to sign up, you can share the link, of course. So let me show you the four options here for our weekly pick a card. Group number one is Carnelian Pendulum. Group number two is the Abalone Shell. Group number three I honestly don't know the name of this one. If you know it, you can let me know. I'm just going to refer to it as the brown stone. Okay, it's really pretty. I just don't know what it is. And then group number four is citrine. Okay, so take as much time as you need. You can pause, uh, but whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number one, which is the Carnelian Pendulum. Okay, so Spirit, this reading is for group one, please and thank you. Okay, Spirit, for group number one, can you tell us generally just their inner energies first and then we'll get outer. Can you tell us just how are they going to be doing in their energies internally? mentally, emotionally, just how they're going to be feeling moving forward into just this week. What do they need to know for this week in their inner world? Thank you. So we have the Three of Cups. Definitely would like more information. Let's see. What do they need to know this week? In their inner energy, in their world. Okay, so here's what they're saying. They're saying that this week, <clears throat> you're going to really be doing your best to be in high spirits or higher spirits, depending on what's been going on. It does look like you're trying to surrender some type of sadness, some type of recent, especially recent sadness or grief or loss or something like that. Um, and you're just really trying to open up your heart space and let go of some significant heaviness. This is good, obviously, right? So um, it, it shows that you are really just putting that in the forefront of your mind, wanting to release and wanting to open yourself up to be happier and to be more present, all of that. I don't, I don't know anything beyond this week, but this is just what we're seeing. So obviously this is a good thing because that intention is there. So let's hope that, and let's see what happens in the outer world to see if that energy follows you. Spirit in their outer, world what energies are coming towards them in their outer world any events anything that they need to be aware of what's what's going to happen or what do they need to know this week in their outer world group one please and thank you okay again you're really trying to rise above some kind of feeling of um, like a low energy thing. So this could be situational for you as well. Maybe there's something going on at work, home, wherever, and it does look like you're trying to still figure it out, but you are kind of rising above no matter what. Can you tell us what is going on and what do they need to know just for this week in their outer world? You have quite the interesting interesting situation going on here, I can tell. Um, so in your outer world, you really are trying your best to navigate things and to balance something out. I feel there is a piece of vital information that you're still not quite receiving because the Two of Swords is blocking some type of energy here. The Tower card is showing that 
there could be some kind of shaking up this week, but I'll get that for you next. But the lover's card here, it also shows that there is at least some peace and balance as a result of whatever was shaken up. So what, what is the tower? Is this an event? Is this a mindset? Like what, what happens here? I don't know if I should take this the way it fell out. Um, the eight of swords and the six of wands. Spirit, what is the tower referring to? It just basically looks like restriction is happening for some reason. Maybe something is unable to move forth in your situation. Um, <clears throat> like something feels stalled a little bit or stuck. Uh, that is going to be temporary though. It does show that something is moving along and again, balancing out in your situation this week. This this area of your life that this is talking about, I think is the one that you've been focusing on the most. So whether it's your love life or personal life, or um, it's kind of hard to say for everybody, but it, it looks like you've been focusing on this the most and trying to get out of a slump. And I do feel like it's going to be successful. Can you tell us more information? What do they need to know this week? Moving forward into just this week. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so kind of the same vibe here. And then you have the Two, Two, and then the Lovers is kind of like also that vibe of a Two. So yeah, we do have a theme of balance, but we also have a theme of trying to make a decision. Okay, so that could also be what's going on for you. And... Um, it kind of seems like at first you may not feel ready to make a decision or maybe you don't have all the facts. Maybe you're not sure of how you're feeling. It does look like there will be a shift in that by the end of the week, by right at the end of the week, okay? Um, so keep that in mind that if you are feeling some kind of a stress or some kind of distraction because of how you're feeling, just know that it is meant to clear up and it does look like you internally or even in your situation, it will make it clear that you will make some sort of a decision by the end of it. What else is your advice? What do they need to know about this situation? What they need to know for just this week? Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, again, clarity, right? Clarity with the Page of Swords and then the Knight of Wands, meaning we're moving right along, okay? So although your situation in this little mini reading today, um, it's only showing us just a snapshot of what's going on. I know there's probably a lot more, but all you needed to know from Spirit today was that it is going to be resolved. You are going to have clarity. There is a decision that's going to be made. And I think that your situation as well is going to find balance somehow. Um, if you're confused as to how that's going to happen, just have faith because it is meant to resolve itself and, and pretty soon. Okay, so can we get a final message here from the uh, Goddess Oracle deck? Just any word that will resonate with them this week that they can think of? Life purpose. Wow, really big message there. Manifest your dreams on the bottom. So here what they're saying is that whatever is going on, this is very purposeful in terms of your path ahead. There's a very meaningful reason for everything that's happening. This is a lot of behind the scenes stuff, but it all is working in terms of the favor of your highest good. So try to trust, you know, and just do your best as you navigate all of this stuff, okay? So um, group one, that's what I'm seeing for you for today. Again, it was like a, a brief reading just because of um, my schedule this week. <clears throat> but that's what I'm seeing. You can let me know below um, what's going on. If it resonated, you can subscribe if you feel like it. But if you want to also get uh, info on my class, I'll be teaching an online tarot course again for beginners. The info is below as well as for my personal readings. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number two, which is the abalone shell. So let's take a look. Spirit, this reading is for group two, please, and thank you. I'm going to take a quick, a quick, a quick, a quick peek into your energies, like just internally and then the outer world. Let's see. Spirit, moving forward into this week, how are they going to be doing in their inner world? And what do they need to know just for their inner world first? <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. 
actually, isn't it the full moon today? I just kind of got a vibe, very psychic vibe. Um, <clears throat> for some of you, felt like you were communicating with someone telepathically, or it, it may not be that for all of you, but it's a really psychic energy here with the moon card. We have the Page of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and anything else for the area of self. I'm not really seeing anything too out of the ordinary. Um, okay, group two. So for just in the area of yourself, I am seeing some significant heart opening here. Uh, there's a little gap, so let me see. It does look like for maybe half of you, you have some psychic communication going on with someone. And for, and for those of you, that could be true where you are connecting with another soul somewhere. For the rest of you, this could be just within you. This could be where you're trying to open up your own healing, some meditation work, stuff like that, whichever resonates for you, but it does look really strong either way. So here you are, you're moving forward, you're taking careful, uh, kind of cautious, thoughtful steps, even though you have a great passion to what you're dealing with, and it's looking good. You're, you're looking really balanced, again, open and loving and flowing. So I feel like overall, this is going to be a really nice week for you, especially just within your own realm. Um, yeah, nothing really out of the ordinary there. Spirit, now only for their outer world, moving forward for group two, what energies are coming towards them in their outer world only? Thank you. Any kind of events, anything they need to be aware of, look at, be warned about. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Hermit. Okay, definitely we see the scales at play. There's an up and down energy here. So you may have just one week, but it's going to feel like a long time if it just keeps kind of going up and down. So the sequence is a little iffy. I've never had this happen before, but it's looking like and it's because of this, I think. It's looking like you guys are going to have a variation in the sequence of this. So the so half of you might have a good first start of the week, and then the rest of the week you're like, oh boy, what's going on? And then vice versa for the rest of you. So let's do this. Okay, so one part of your week, you're going to really feel a heavy sense of um, internal focus. It could be worry if you let it get to like that dark place, but this is actually a good thing because what's going on here is your energy or your situational energy is trying to detach from something heavy of a, a cycle, a negative cycle. It's trying to break away. That's what like this, they went like this. It's like they're trying to break away from a negative pattern or cycle. And you may <clears throat> be experiencing some um, like, distressful energy surrounding you. I don't really think all of you are going to be affected by it internally as we saw, but this is going to be more situational or just like involved in some sense in this week. Now for the rest of you, and again, the timing is going to be opposite for you guys. Um, we are seeing harmony. We're seeing some type of shared joy, a bond, a connection, um, where it's deepening with you and another person or even a situation in itself so for example like a person who's having harmony with uh, a person in front of them but another person who's having harmony with their entire uh, career path something like that that's going to be happening too and it's also going to be triggering some self-reflection or the want for alone time to just look inward and to do a lot of work uh in terms of your inner questions and wisdom and seeking. And with the Hermit card, it also could just be simply self-care, like spending time alone. So that also could be the case here. And then the final card is the Six of Pentacles to show that I, I do feel things are moving forward because there's a balancing act going on here. So the advice then, Spirit, what would be the advice for them this week in their outer world situations or anything? Uh, with the Nine of Wands, this is a card of really trying to not tire yourself out, you know, tired old battles. So you may have seen some recent readings of mine that had these repeating numbers, and it's happened again. It's kind of weird how certain people keep getting this. It's 999, nine, nine, and then you have 10 and 10. 
okay? Um, I always take those as signs just because they're super obvious right there. So the three nines here are trying to show you that some cycle is coming to an end, which we did get confirmation of already. Okay, so your only advice is to let that happen, to let whatever needs to release, release, and try not to really hold on to it. Try to release your own feelings of tiredness as well because there is going to be more enlightenment coming to you, okay? Final messages for them and we'll get one oracle card as well. Thank you. Yeah, with the Three of Swords, this is the same thing. Um, I do feel that you've been through a lot and it is certainly time to really enjoy that sense of release. So again, from the first spread, that's why I did that, it looks like you're handling things extremely well. So just keep going with that. Like you already have that sense of like foundation and strength. It's already there. Everything else is going to clear up in time. Obviously, if not within the like the fullness of it in one week, just keep the faith in it. It, shall, uh, it should clear up. Uh, can we have a final card here from the Goddess Stream Oracle for group two? Any words that resonate with them? <clears throat> so you have in, uh, insight. Be open to enchantment. And then we have the, I know there's the moon on a lot of the cards, but I'm just being drawn to it for you guys, where um, anytime there's a full moon, I feel like the, everything is just amplified. That's what I've read, and I feel like that's true. I was told that the way that you feel, the energy that you're in during the full moon, it just gets amplified, and it, that could be a good or bad thing. So you may need to do some heavy meditation even today um, or soon. And it's going to help to develop this sense of insight. But they are making clear that you already know like 90% of the answers just within your own soul, within your own self. And it's going to be good. You don't even need to do a tarot card reading or anything like that. You just need to really allow these answers to come to you from an inner place is what they're saying. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you. Again, I know it was brief, but there we have it. I hope it helped. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you want a personal reading, it's below. I've also just opened registration for my How to Read Tarot online course and every, all the info is below in the, the link, okay? Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number three, which is this brown stone, which I'm sure someone knows the name of, so sorry about that. All right, I'll, I'll edit it when someone tells me as well. So, Spirit, this reading is for group three, our brown stone group. Please and thank you. As always, I'm just going to peek in to your energy this week and then the outer energy spirit generally speaking what energies are coming towards them in their inner world and how they will be doing and feeling this week our group three just this week so i i said in the intro it's, this is going to be a brief reading just because of lack of time but i i definitely wanted to get this in this week or the beginning of the week Okay, I kind of snuck that out there, but it just wanted to come out. So we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Three of Wands, and the Star. I don't know if a part of you is going to be feeling like very blah. Um, I honestly don't know if it has to do with something in the outer world, maybe like feeling left out or feeling lonely, um, something like that. If it's not uh, an emotional thing, this even could be just a physical thing like feeling really under the weather and tired. Maybe some of you caught a cold or you're sick or something like that. Even though it looks like you're really keeping up high spirits, which is nice, and you're not letting it permanently drag you down sort of a thing. Um, and it's looking good. You're looking really hopeful. You are looking like you're having insight and some type of vision for the future. And I just think that you're going to be really in your cosmic energy this week, like connected to divine forces, for example, your guides. Maybe there's a lot of synchronicities happening in the recent, but you're going to, you're, you're looking really good here. What else do they need to know? Just inner world. And I am sensing something big coming to you psychically. They're not telling me what it is because it's just a teaser. I can tell that that's what they're doing. So something is coming. If you want, you can watch some of my other pick cards if you feel called and to get a hint. But 
I wouldn't really worry about it. It's just showing that some big spiritual shift is hitting you soon. Not in the week, most likely. Well, you know, actually, I don't know. But <clears throat> something is coming. Spirit moving forward into this week in their outer world. What do they need to know? What's happening? Any warnings? Any advice? What's happening in their outer world, please? Moving forward. It does look like there's going to be some annoyances, but that might have already passed. That could have happened today. Um, just like little, little hassles, whether it's like, oh, you know, technology or some trivial stuff essentially but you know it, it gets annoying when that happens but it, it's gonna it's gonna come to an abrupt end it's not anything important but just be aware try not to let it get to you and just breathe it out that's what I had to do <laughs> earlier today I was just like oh it's not a big deal and I just tried to let that go um but yeah it, it looks like this is uh, shaping up already this is probably Tuesday energy queen of swords ten of cups moving forward into this week what do they need to know is happening for them this week <clears throat> okay group three now i want to give you a slight advisory here it's not a warning i don't see anything terrible but it does look like you may be trying to kind of like make the peace with a masculine energy male or female i don't know exactly but these two uh characters here the emperor and the king of pentacles are both wearing a suit of armor i do feel like it's the same energy although for a small fraction of you this could be representing two separate energies that are equal in their energy like they feel the same it looks like you're trying to keep the peace it looks like you're trying to be diplomatic or um cautious with your words and you're just saying like you know can't we just come to a solution here can't we all just get along kind of a vibe but there is clear conflict going on reflective of this as well this might just be one of those weeks you know it can't always be like a peaceful thing it, we do our best right but the universe is a little chaotic um so just know that you might run into some issues this week with a masculine type of person uh, masculine energy so what else do we need to know about this most of you obviously this is going to be work it could be stuff at home as well it could be a neighbor if you're not like in the immediate work environment let's say <clears throat> but it does feel very work-ish for many of you. It does feel like there's peace trying to come in from different directions. Um, I would highly advise you to work with your guides here and angels and ask them for peace to come through the situation, whether it's with the person or the situation itself or from you. That will help. I've done this before. It does help a lot, in my opinion. <clears throat> but it does look like there's some type of peacemaker or peaceful feeling trying to come through. What else do they need to know about this week and the situation? Page of Swords and Three of Cups. We're looking, we're looking good in the end of this, okay? I don't see a permanent conflict. I just see that they're giving you a caution about this simply so that it can have a positive outcome in the end okay so you you can establish a positive outcome uh so we have the clarity here we have clear communication we have people working together in some sort of a group i don't know the reason for the little tiff here i i don't know if it's like a conflict of opinion or it again if it's more situational but it, everything's going to be okay okay don't, don't worry too much but try to take that advice i mentioned um any other final message about this or anything else <clears throat> so we have the two of wands and the nuts <laughs> okay sorry i'm laughing because uh so we have the two of wands and the nine of pentacles. So honestly, I feel like if something is this persistent issue and you're just like, I'm kind of done with this vibe, I think that you're just going to go off on your own and just do it yourself. That's why I was like, it, it, it feels like that vibe. Um, probably this is your energy. However, please just remember this. If someone in the equation you're dealing with goes off and just does something on their own, please do not take that personally. This was actually an act of the the forces around you meaning you needed to be separated if that is in fact what happens so either this is you 
in the future going off and doing it on your own because it feels better to you or someone else is because it's just that's the way that this needed to be energetically speaking okay <clears throat> any other final advice for group three group three <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, that that's it. Um, something really good is coming in terms of a shift for especially work or some related areas, however it resonates for you. Uh, there is something good coming, but this was like a little hump to get over. I really wouldn't focus on it too much because it is temporary, so don't worry. You are going to keep it moving. You are going to move along <clears throat> and like overcome whatever was going on. So definitely the phrase, go with the flow. Don't harp on anything if you don't have to like try not to focus too hard on one thing because in the bigger picture this is moving smoothly forward okay so final message please from the goddess dream oracle any word that will resonate with them free spirit be your own person so remember to not let anybody else's opinions or whatever, it could be judgments, affect you. Just do what you need to do, what you know is best within your heart and soul. Um, detach from negative people if you need to. You can protect your energy, of course. And just, just know that you are this free spirit and you can still be your, your own person regardless of the limited situation at the time, at the current time, okay? So group three, um, that is what I'm seeing for you. I hope that this was helpful. I usually do longer readings, but yeah, um, I hope it was still helpful. Thank you guys so much. If you want a personal reading, the info is below. And I've just opened registration for my online how to read tarot cards course, but all the info is below. Okay, so thank you once again, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number four, which is Citrine. Spirit, this reading is for group four. Please and thank you. I'll just take a peek into your internal energies and then I will get your outer world stuff. Spirit, for group number four, what energies are coming towards them just this week in the area of self? Just their inner energies, please. Okay, well, that's good. I feel like you're going to have a really nice idea or burst of inspiration this week. Wonderful. If you happen to be creative, please watch the video I just put out uh, last night, which technically was today. It was after midnight. Um, that could be helpful to you, okay? So, their inner energies. This week. Whoopsie, sorry. Yeah, I, I really feel... A, the idea thing because the, the page of swords feels like you're receiving clarity from the divine some kind of a higher place and you're just here receiving it feeling really stable and secure feeling peaceful and balanced you're also protected as well just like i don't know if it's more so than usual but they just said you're protected okay um so all you have to do is just be open that that's it just be open-minded be open within your energy um you can literally speak this into existence by saying it out loud right like i'm open to receiving blessings or whatever it is um anything else they need to know about their inner world <clears throat> i'd love to tell you what the idea is but that would kind of defeat the purpose like this is going to come authentically from you or your guides and it's going to be really comforting when you receive it you know the aha moments I, I actually love those aha moments so much so we have the chariot this is really good so in addition to the new energy or i'm not sure exactly if this is separate here but we have the chariot moving forward with a sense of determination and focus and obviously like to me i feel high vibrational energy so it's not exactly kind of like joy but it's just you're you're present you're focused you're here you're ready okay um yeah i mean that's pretty much all i'm seeing there even though, you know, you're probably very tired, I think that there's been a lot that you have been trying to do, um, you know, and, and sometimes it is just a matter of alignment. Timing is everything, I feel. Spirit, now can you tell us about their outer world, Spirit, moving forward into this week, what energies are coming towards them in their outer world, any events, any cautions, any advice, what's happening in their outer world? Uh, 
20% um, of you, I think, are getting this message where um, someone in your environment is really worrying. I don't know if it's about you or about something else, but it, that was for a small number of you where someone is really worrying about something here. Okay, so we have here the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Fool, the Tower, which I did kind of peek at the bottom before. We have the Eight of Cups. So this is in your outer world. It's, it's kind of hard to say what this is talking about, but... Um, uh, I think there, for a lot of you, for if not all of you, there there may need to be a discussion this week about something. So just as an example, if you are dealing with another person and there's some uncertainties going on, it's highly advised that you clear the air and just talk about it. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like something or someone here is trying to take flight into a new beginning, but... This tower card is really intriguing me. The fact that it's next to the fool card, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, making me feel like if someone's taking a risk here and really being impulsive. So what is the advice for them personally? Let's see. So you have two basically angels here or it even could be representing a person in your life but group four they're asking you to how can i phrase this um i am going to advise you to slow down just a smidge here because um if it is the case where there's something that requires an immediate action I'm not saying that anything bad's going to happen but I feel like you will be glad that you slowed it down just a bit because there's still some things that are not clear yet in your situation, which we did kind of see before. Remember I said that they were going to give you a spoiler. It, it does look like you have in mind a very specific success and perhaps an action that you wanna take for a new beginning. And you will get there. You will definitely get there and it will create a lot of change for you. Um, but just know that I, I feel like there's still something that needs to fall into place. And the way that you can have clarity on this is by speaking to your guides and angels or even by speaking to someone that may happen to be involved with the situation. So either of those will do. Um, can you tell us a little bit more of advice of what's going on for them this week? What might happen just this week? Yeah, it, I, I kind of feel like there's this lingering feeling beneath the surface that you guys have been trying to make a decision for a long time or even many different decisions for a long time. And there, there could have been this lack of a feeling of uh, resolution or maybe a lack of feeling settled, something kind of like that. I think it's just the, the reason for this could be um, the unique point that you're in right now with your spiritual journey. Um, because I'm I'm feeling just like intuitively your your energy as the fool, meaning the fool is starting out his journey, right? And they they're wanting you to give yourself a little bit more reasonable time to feel more secure within the whole thing. But at the end of it, um, again, we are seeing some type of balance and healing of an energy. So like if you're in a difficult situation, I do think that it although it looks a little messy at first i think that there will be stability so anything else specific is there an, a specific event or happening this week that they need to know about i'm getting the same vibes my friends um i honestly feel not by looking at the cards, but just by tapping into your energy, I feel like there's going to be something that you're going to want to chase immediately. But they're they're saying to you once more, you have to slow this down. Um, now, I'm not telling you what to do, but just heed the word because I, I have no idea what this is about. But you may benefit more from taking a step back, even if it's for a short amount of time. Because the thing is, there may not be something completely cleared from these clouds or this fog. There could be something lurking and saying like, oh, crap, I, I should have thought of that. You know, kind of like that. So that's really all they're revealing. They're not revealing more on purpose because they, they, it, I don't, I don't know if this is a test, but 
they are definitely wanting you to learn from something here okay so that phrase is more relevant now than ever look before you leap that is exactly what's going on here with the fool card um can we have any other final message of advice for them for this week the three of cups yeah i don't know if this is going to resonate with all of you but try not to let other people's opinions sway you or tempt you or any of that um this is between you and yourself your higher self and your guides and this is really a you thing okay um i'm not sure how this factors in but i just felt called to say that for some of you that needed to hear it final message with the goddess dream oracle please we have intention spinning fate this looks like you again and like i don't know if maybe there's a part of your journey that is like a new chapter maybe you feel like quite unprepared for something but they're giving me this version of you which is like a new like a newborn baby where something is new in your life right now or it could be a mindset where you just thought of an idea i don't i don't know exactly what it is but you are it's not really only up to us in our path there's a lot going on there's there's forces of higher power, there's forces of destiny, there's forces of like a balance that are at play. So try to become aware of that and work with those energies, work with your own, the own wheel and your own guides, and they're going to help you to see the whole bigger picture in terms of like where to go. But obviously, it's your own judgment and decision and in intuition, just use your best judgment and that's all I can really say. So maybe to be continued. But group four, this was very mysterious. Please let me know if this resonates. But that's what I am seeing for you guys, okay? So um, that's all I have for you for today. I wanted to get this reading in, even though it was a little short. But thank you guys so much. If you want a personal reading, link is below. And I've just opened up registration for my online tarot course, How to Read Tarot Cards. The info is below as well. Thank you guys once again. And I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.